Hi guys, I'm going to give you a video on how we are going to do like a little practice weaving. So what you're going to do first is you're going to pick two pieces of paper, two colors that are different from one another. I'm going to pick purple and yellow. Those are my two colors. One, you are going to bend in half. So I'm going to take my purple and I'm going to bend it in half, line up the edges, and swipe my fingers so that it is folded in half. And I'm going to put this to the side. The other one, I'm going to cut into strips using the long edge. This is the short edge. This is the long edge. So I'm going to cut long strips that are about the same width as my fingernail or my thumb. I'm going to cut these until they disappear. Hi Mason, I'm recording a show for my students. Just like that. I'm probably, bye honey, I'm probably going to get about mm, eight or ten strips. Enjoy your dinner, Mason. Okay, so I have my strips of my one color, and then I have my folded piece of paper here. Now, to make this a loom, we are going to use the folded edge to make about five cuts. When we cut on the fold going up, we are not going to the edge. It will fall apart. So I'm just going to take my scissors. The fold is at the bottom. I'm going to snip it, not all the way, and stop. Move it over about an inch. Snip it. Stop. Move it over. Snip it. Stop. And I probably have room for one more. Snip it. And stop. So that when I open it, I have a loom just like this. Okay, so now that I've cut my strips, they are all together and I have, I can move it around like this. The strips of paper that I cut are gonna go in and out, in and out, through each of the areas. So I'm gonna take my first piece and I'm gonna start over, under, over, under. So I'm gonna go over the first one, under the second one, slide it through, over the first one, under the second one, over the first one, and stop. And it should hang off the edge like that. Now the next one, I'm going to do the opposite. So since I went over here, I'm going to go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and slide it in. So you're going to start getting this checkerboard pattern. And then once again, now that I went under here, I'm going to go over, and I would recommend saying this out loud, under, over, under, over, under, and slide it through. And you're gonna keep doing this until you literally run out of space. Now I can probably fit one last one in mine. I fast forwarded it a bit. Another thing you can do if you wanna alternate colors is you could pick three colors, two colors for strips, one color for your loom and alternate colors. So instead of just making my loom all yellow, I could have made it like yellow, green, yellow, green. Then the last finishing touch you would do is you would line up your edges so that they all stay, push them in real tight. And you can just put a little dab of glue on the edges to make them from moving. And then you can take marker and decorate inside each of your pieces. And that's it. Good job.